This is Canthalus for the Phoenix Realms Minecraft server, and this is a continuation of a series on setting up a Minecraft server. And I'm trying to make it so that if you just want to catch one video, you can do that and it will actually sort of make sense, or you can follow them all along to see kind of how to set up every step along the way. So we've got Iconomy with MySQL up and going, and we've got permissions in, so let's get World Edit. It's a handy one for general GM powers to go around and reshape the world. So, gonna scroll down here, download World Edit 4.4, and this particular one he has his own site. So we go off over here, download that, and then we're gonna put that in our plugins folder. Alright, with that zip file opened up, there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. We really just need the worldedit.jar. There's a lot of great readme things and craft scripts, which can uh, kind of automate some tasks for you. All kinds of fun stuff. But for now, let's just go into the plugins folder and drag and drop over the worldedit.jar. Then we're going to go ahead and start up the server with run.bat. So that way, worldedit can make all of its files. And note here that it shows what has been uh, installed so far and world edit is able to find permissions that we already have and so it's now using permissions so that way if you actually had other people on your server you could set it so that only you have all of these grand admin powers and not just everybody so we're going to go ahead and stop the server for now typing in stop hitting enter alright so that's all saved up now going back into the plugins folder there's a new folder here for world edit and here's our config file so here you can set some limits on things this is a very powerful plugin and if you don't use it quite right you can kinda break your world by like destroying the bedrock floor or something like that so be careful with it you can set up some of these sorts of things like you can set up a separate log file It's false by default. You can, um, there's a super pickaxe that will just with one click break any block so you can set it on whether or not it will drop the items or the blocks that you're mining through. So if you're mining through a lot of stuff with it, it might be handy to turn that off. You don't really need a whole inventory full of sand or cobblestone or whatever. But you can pick which item you use for a couple of different things like your scripting wand or navigation wand and uh, timeout for your scripting all sorts of things that you can figure here but for the most part you don't really need to mess with this if you don't want to so we can go back in start up the server and go inside so here we are at the minecraft load screen go to multiplayer make sure that local host is in there and connect so here we are inside I've got a nice wand which is just got by slash slash wand. There we go. So that'll let me do a right click to set position two. Position two isn't working right now, but the other option is slash slash pause one. So now I can do things like set that area to stone or set it to sponge. Those are just some of the options, things that we can do with this. So let's go ahead, close out of this, and take a look at the uh, reference guide for World Edit. This is the bucket thread for World Edit, and down here we have the How to Use guide, and that's a PDF. I have it opened in this tab here, and this is very handy. If you're going to use World Edit, I'd recommend printing this out. And notice with World Edit, it's not like economy that just has slash money or permissions which has slash permissions. World Edit has all kinds of different things. Some of them have two slashes like wand, set, undo and redo. Some of them just have one slash like fix lava or thaw or snow. And a lot of them have additional arguments like you can set in how the radius around you for it to do those whatever that command is. Lots of options in here. So I don't really have the time to go through all of the things that world that it can do but has lots of options and let's take a look about how to configure permission here's our minecraft server running along so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it typing in stop hitting enter now I'm gonna go into the plugins folder and into permissions and edit with notepad double plus so this is where 
we can set things for default. So I'm going to swap out this one that's just been foo.bar and let's go back over here to see what the different permissions options are. Fortunately, most plugin developers somewhere in their thread will have information about permissions for their plugin. So I'm going to look here for the documentation and that's taking us to a wiki into permissions and uh, going to have to go to a different link off of this one. There we go, the main permissions page. And this is going to list out all of the different commands, what the arguments for it are, other things that you can type in to do the same thing, the aliases, some flags, and here the permissions. So one that I like is uh, to let just my general players be able to fix lava and water. It's more a cosmetic thing to me and I think being able to fix water so you don't have a little whirlpool is something that's handy if I don't have to do as an admin. So that's the permission for it here, worldedit.fixwater. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And in here, I'm going to put that right in here, worldedit.fixwater. I don't think that I'm going to need those just yet. Let me double check on that though. Alright, here I've opened up the permissions configuration file for my main server. It's Phoenix Realms. And here are the main permissions that I have for the default group. So sure enough, you don't need the little quotes around it, but there's lots of options in here. Like you can set up things with a star, we'll do everything after that. So I could just do commandbook.star and that would give people all the command book things or world edit dot star and that would give people all of the world edit commands but there's some pretty powerful stuff in there and I don't think I want to do that so I'm just gonna go back to our world YML here for the server that's just right here on my computer and put in another line now this is something that I'm probably gonna have to say several times in several different of these tutorials but when we do a new line it looks like it's in the right spot but really when we do backspace those are each tabs, and these YML files are very picky about that. They can't be tabs, they have to be spaces, four spaces to be precise. So we do one, two, three, four, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So here we are at the right indent level. Then the dash, and we can also do world edit dot fix lava. So that way people can do the same thing with lava. And then we can go ahead and save this and bring our server back up run that bad. There we go. Now if we actually had anybody else on this server other than me, they would be able to use the fix lava and fix water commands from world edit, but not any of the other ones. Cause some of those are pretty powerful and I don't think I want just anybody being able to use those. So that's sort of an idea of how to use world edit and how to get it all configured through permissions. Um, that's going to end up this video. Going to start in the next one on command book, another plugin from this same developer.